up, Nicole. We don't have time. Ruby, I can't believe it. Brian, did you get back? I missed you so much. We have to hurry. Why? I'm ballet lessons. Where's your mother? What are you doing She's here? Your father, honey. He's had an accident. An accident? What happened to him? Is he all right? Oh, he's fine. He's okay. My mother's with him, yeah. She's taking care of him. Where is he? Mount Sinai. Is he going to be all right? Just tell me he's going to be okay. He's going to be fine. Baby, slow down the car. Ah, uh, shit. Now she's going to fucking cry. Shut up. No, <laughs> don't worry about it, honey. We're just going to go to your dad, and he's going to be just fine. Sinai. How'd I do? Good today. 1404. 1404 is not good enough. I'm about six seconds too fat. I got three calls since I've been freezing my butt off up here. Weissman returned your call. He's in Paris. I have his number. Wendell called. The deal did not go through. Of course the fucking deal didn't go through. I told him the deal wouldn't go through. Idiot. All right. Who else called? Monica Reynolds. Who's that? Soprano with the overplucked eyebrows. Oh. Her, huh? She called? All right. Let's book us dinner tomorrow night. Someplace dark and expensive. And keep your opinions to yourself. Anything else? Yes, your daughter wants an iguana for Christmas. A what? An iguana? How do you know? She called me last week. She wants a large green iguana, and she wants to call it Earl. Earl? That's a stupid name. She should call it Ignatius. It's got to be Earl, and you've got to get dressed. You have a charity dinner in 45 minutes. Oh, Christ. What is it this time? Homeless children. Homeless children? Homeless children. All right, Simonette, get my tuxedo. Hey, you guys are putting on a great show up there. These homeless kids are eating it up. Thanks. Uh, listen, I was wondering, would it be possible to rent you and your friend? Yeah, sure, let me get you one of our cards here. No, 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 I meant for tonight, after the show upstairs. You want us for tonight? It's almost 9.30, man. What the fuck are you talking about? I didn't know clowns were allowed to swear. Uh, yeah, we fart, too. Look, it's for my daughter. I've been busy. We missed the circus. I thought it would be nice if you came over to the apartment and gave her a little show. Uh, yeah, well, what about my kids? I can't get home that late, man. My wife will kill me. I'll give you $100. Buy her a present. She'll forgive you. $200 per clown. Don't waste my time. $100 cash. $150 per clown. Plus, you got to make a little doggy out of this balloon. This phone is not working. I can't believe they rated this telephone number one. The charger stinks. Do me a favor, Joey. Run over this thing with a car, will you? You'll make me a happy man. Will do. Christmas shoppers. Where are you going for Christmas, Joey? My brother-in-law's family in Jersey. Get away from these robbers, rapists, and rip-off artists. This time of year, the city's a cesspool, only colder. <laughs> it's not that bad. I don't know, Mr. Kramer. You see a lot more riding up here than you do back there. I mean, just last All week right, I saw... All right, my clown friends, are you ready? It's almost showtime. Does the hundred bucks you gave us include cab fare home? I live in Jackson Heights. It's going to cost me a fortune. All right, Joey, after they're through, drive these clowns home, will you? Let's go. We've got a little girl to wake up. Maid's asleep, so keep it down till we get to the girl's room. We're gonna give the kid a coronary. Wait till I turn on the light, then 
Yell surprise and do your thing. Sweetheart, I've got a little present for you. Wake up and see. All right, you ready? One, two, three. Surprise! Angela, what the hell is going on? Where's Nicole? I tried to call you. I tried to reach you, but your phone doesn't work. Damn it, Angela, where is Nicole? She has ballet lessons, you know, so I wasn't worried. But then she didn't come home. She hasn't come home. Oh, my God. I tried to call you. I called Mrs. Kramer in Connecticut, but she didn't answer. I didn't know what to do, so I called the police. Well, where are they? What happened? They thought Nicole was with you. That must be Nicole. We better split. Hello? Hello? Daddy? Nicole? Sweetie? Where are you? Are you, are you all right? Nicole? Nicole! If you ever want to see your daughter alive again, do the following things. Don't hurt her. Please don't hurt her. Don't call the police. If you call them, I'll kill her. You understand me? No police at all. You must follow everything I tell you exactly. One fuck up, one late arrival, one strange police car, and she's dead. Please. I'll do whatever you want. We can negotiate. There's no fucking negotiating. I will slit her little pink throat. Don't do that. Do what I say, and you get it back. You get it back unharmed, but you have to do exactly what I say. You understand? Yes, yes. I'll be at the phone booth on 137th Street and 2nd Avenue in 30 minutes at 11 o'clock. You keep me waiting for one second, and your daughter's gone forever. Hello? Hello? Yeah, uh, this is Mr. Kramer. Has Joey left yet? He just left with the clown, sir. All right, get me a taxi. I'm coming right downstairs. It's not your fault, man. Be strong. Everything's going to be okay. We need to get to 137th Street and 2nd Avenue. Come on, move fast, I'm in a hurry. You won't find too many cabbies that'll take you that far uptown. The blacks will strip your cab bare up there. But I don't care. You need to buy crack, you need to buy crack. What? I'm not buying crack. Whatever. Jesus Christ. Stop the cab, stop the cab! God damn it! What is this, blood? You've got blood on the seat here. You've got blood all over me. Sorry. Sorry? What the hell are you talking about? Give me a napkin or something. You want to get out of the cab? You can pay me right now and leave right away. No, I don't have time. Just, just go. Go fast. I gotta get there. You want some chips? You want some chips? Huh? You sure? You want any? That's sour cream and onion kind of really good. Yeah, it's salt Would and vinegar. Would you like my mother to make you something, honey, hmm? Sure. My mother, I can cook for you. And I'll get all your leftovers, eh? What are you looking at? Is that not the truth, huh? Let me tell you something. If your father calls the police, you're going to be very sorry. I tell you that. You'll be one sorry little bitch. You're the one that's going to be sorry, Ruby. You're the one that's going to be really sorry. Shut up! You shut up! I thought we were friends. How could you do this to me? Nicole, I told you to shut your mouth. Man! Why don't you both shut up, please? Jesus Christ. You and your best friend, best friend, you have to shut up! Come on, man. Can I do my puzzle in peace? I need to concentrate. Concentrate? You need to concentrate to cheat? You do yesterday's puzzles, so you can look up the answers today. You need to concentrate next. What's an e, e What's an e Euripides? Hmm? 
What? 18 across. E. E. Euripides tragedy. Five letters. Maddie? Hey, what's the matter with you? You fucking nuts, man. I was supposed to use real names. Alias, you gotta use alias. Alias, shit, she knows my name, Maddie. Why not yours? Well, it just would have been better if she didn't. Fuck her, baby. She may not live to tell anybody anyway. Medea. What? What the fuck did you say, honey? Medea. The Euripides tragedy for his crossword puzzle. I saw it in London with my dad. M E D E A. Holy shit! Holy fuck! Holy shit! It fits. Girl got it right. Hey man, way to go! Hey man, give me some hand job. Yeah, that's smart. How old are you? Eleven. No, you're forty-eight, aren't you? <laughs> smart. <laughs> 